Today, let's talk about new beginnings. In 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17, it says, The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. We are the ones in human mind that hold on to the old, that hold on with a tight grip, and we do not allow it to pass away. Uh, of course, it does physically, but not mentally. It stays inside of our minds. We have to allow ourselves to have new beginnings. Well, today, I pray that you are quickened with a new spirit and filled with a new determination. We are continually making new beginnings, for never is life totally stagnant or stationary. Sometimes circumstances seem to thrust us into new beginnings. Sometimes we welcome and initiate new beginnings, but always we are capable of meeting new conditions and circumstances. Well, you might fight that and say, no, I'm not. I'm not ready for a new beginning. I'm not prepared. Well, God's prepared. And God can come through you in ways that will startle you in good ways. Let us pray today to be quickened with a new spirit and filled with a new determination to begin what we aspire to begin and to complete it. Let us know that God is continually filling and refilling our mind with understanding and our heart with courage and with zeal. If we're meeting a change that momentarily causes us to fear or to doubt, let us pray that we are filled with a new determination to overcome fear and to step forward in faith. We may be unsure of what lies ahead. We may not be able to see it with human mind or even imagine it with human thinking. But I tell you, my friend, we can be sure of one thing, that even though we don't see the way ahead, that God is with us every step of the way and that God sees the way ahead and is guiding us in the way ahead, ever quickening our spirit and filling us with new determination and even positive excitement. God bless you.